If life is to be sustained, hope must remain. Doubt is the brother of shame. Nobody likes to be found out. Not even one who has made ruthless confession a part of his profession. In the social jungle of human existence, there is no feeling of being alive without a sense of identity. The fact that human conscience remains partially infantile throughout life is the core of human tragedy. You've got to learn to accept the law of life and face the fact that we disintegrate slowly. A creative man has no choice. He may come across his supreme task almost accidentally. But once the issue is joined, his task proves to be at the same time intimately related to his most personal conflicts, to his superior selective perception, and to the stubbornness of his one-way will. He must court sickness, failure, or insanity in order to test the alternative whether the established world will crush him or whether he will disestablish a sector of this world's outworn fundaments and make place for a new one. A man's conflicts represent what he really is. Every adult, whether he is a follower or a leader, a member of a mass or of an elite, was once a child, he was once small, a sense of smallness forms a substratum in his mind. Ineradicably, his triumphs will be measured against this smallness. His defeats will substantiate it. The richest and fullest lives attempt to achieve an inner balance between three realms. Work, love and play. The sense of identity provides the ability to experience oneself as something that has continuity and sameness, and to act accordingly. Hope is both the earliest and the most indispensable virtue inherent in the state of being alive. Others have called this deepest quality confidence. And I have referred to trust as the earliest positive psychosocial attitude. But if life is to be sustained hope must remain, even where confidence is wounded. Trust impaired. Well, therefore, is the unbroken determination to exercise free choice as well as self-restraint. In spite of the unavoidable experience of shame and doubt in infancy,